I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Are you ready for another cool summer treat? Today we're going to take some watermelon and we're going to juice it and we're going to make watermelon granita, which is an excellent way to use up watermelon. If you buy one that's think it's too big, eat half of it and make granita out of the other half. Let's go see what we're going to do. Started, I'm going to go through the ingredients. If you don't know what a granita is, a granita is like a shaved ice, but you make it at home and it's really, really easy. You take the juice of your choice. You can make this out of anything. You make it out of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, watermelon, peaches, whatever you want. And you you blend it up in the blender, or in this case, because it's this is watermelon and I have a juicer, I ran the watermelon without the rind through the juicer because I like the... Uh, the way that it strains it. If you do it in a blender, and if you don't have a juicer, you can totally do this in a blender, then um, you'll want to run it through a strainer after you get it all blended up. Um, just because you don't want too much fiber in there, otherwise it's not going to be very pleasant. So I have eight cups of uh, strained um, watermelon juice. This is a juiced watermelon that I ran through my juicer. And to this, we're going to add the... Um, this is the juice of one lemon, so I have about a quarter of a cup. My lemons were really big. Um, get that in there. And then we're going to sweeten it up a bit. I have a third of a cup of plain simple syrup, and that's just equal parts sugar and water boiled together until it's clear. And then this time we're going to make it Tarani style, and we're going to use a third of a cup of Tarani watermelon syrup. If you don't have that, just use more simple syrup, but I have Tarani on hand. And I want to use it. So this just gives me an opportunity to make another Tarani recipe. And I love it when I'm able to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give this a taste. And we're going to see if it's where we want it. Oh, that's nice. I'll get another spoon. I know you want to taste it. It's nice. The lemon juice is not overpowering. It just blends in there really well all together. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to get yourself a shallow container or a cake pan, like a 9 by 13 cake pan or something. It has to be shallow and it needs to fit in your freezer. So you might want to dry fit it first before you fill up a pan. Now the reason I'm using this container is because it has a lid and I'm clumsy and I don't want to mess up my freezer with all sorts of granita base. So this container, I uh, actually pre-measured beforehand, this container is 18 cups, so it's four and a half quarts. And I know that my almost nine cups of juice is going to fit in here just perfectly. So I'm going to put the lid on it, I'm going to pop it in the freezer, and then in a couple of hours we're going to come back and we're going to get out the fork and we're going to start flaking it and then we're going to return it to the freezer. I'll be back when it's time to do that. So into the freezer this goes for about two to three hours. Okay, it has been several hours. Actually, truth be told, it's been way more than two or three. And um, because I have so much here, it just took a while for it to freeze, that's all. So you'll want to check it periodically to see if it's ready. But what you want to do when it gets to this point it's kind of slushy in the middle, but it's like solid on the outside. You want to just get in here with your fork and start scraping. And you can see it turns into a beautiful kind of slurpy consistency. Now we're going to return this to the freezer after we do this. And I am kind of just poking this with my fork. And if you use a plastic container like I am, please be careful and make sure you have a nice heavy duty one so you don't pierce it because you don't want this hard work going to waste. You just want to get in there and break it up. I'm going to return this to the freezer and then when it's time for dessert we'll come back and I'll fix you a beautiful bowl of watermelon granita Tarani style. about two more hours and what you want to do we're ready to serve this for dessert now and what you want to do is you just want to run your fork through it again and you want to mash up real good now you see 
putting it back in the freezer after you made it slushy, it's been able to crystallize even further. And you don't want giant chunks of it, but this is exactly what granita is supposed to look like. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna serve it in one of these um, kind of short glasses that I have we keep on the counter during the summer. It's perfect if you don't want like a giant of, you know, iced tea or something like if you want a small glass of milk or something. This is about, I think it's a 12 ounce glass. So that is a watermelon granita. It's kind of like a grown up snow cone. Look how pretty that is. Watermelon juice, lemon juice, a little watermelon tarani, and some simple syrup. And you have yourself a delicious, refreshing dessert or, you know, snack for any time during the summer, really any time. Remember, you can use any kind of fruit. You don't have to use watermelon. You can use cantaloupe. You can use strawberries or raspberries. You can use mango pineapple. or peach. Pineapple would be awesome. And um, you can essentially start with juice. Mm -hmm. So I hope you try this. You want to taste it? Sure. I know you did. I shouldn't even bother to ask you. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Watermelon granita. I hope you try it. Hope you love it. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!